This season, The Real Housewives of Atlanta has certainly had its ups and downs, but it seemed to take a turn for the better when fans of the show finally got a chance to see what went down at Cynthia's bachelorette party. But now that everyone has shamed our girls for going too far, I'm starting to wonder if everything is okay with Portia Williams. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video, and I recently caught wind of a shocking theory about Portia Williams quitting The Real Housewives of Atlanta, allegedly leaving production scrambling. So today, let's talk about this theory before we discuss everything that we know now about this year's reunion. Now, before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you wanna hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and our first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. It's very suspicious. It's very calculated. Okay, so I definitely want to get right into this shocking tea about Portia Williams, but first, I definitely gotta put out a disclaimer. This is just a theory, and right now, we can only read between the lines, so I don't want to hear now, this is fake news, this is a, this is clickbait, this is whatever, girl. If you don't appreciate being one of the first to hear about the tea before it's official tea, then scram, boo, because we're gonna be sipping on some good old unofficial tea today, because because if there's one thing that I've learned after all my years of doing commentary, it is that whenever there is smoke, there is almost always fire. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I saw this tweet from Portia Williams, and I gotta be honest, I was a little taken back by it, because from what I had seen previously, I felt like Portia was definitely having fun with all of these bolo rumors. You know, uh -uh, wait, hold on. Already, please rewind that. I have to play in the bachelorette. Let, you let me it. hit bolo now and reserve the tape. <laughs> <laughs> bolo books. <laughs> what? I mean, for the most part, we wasn't really judging Portia all that much. We were shocked, but we weren't really judging her. And some of y'all were even saying y'all would have done the same thing, allegedly. Show us your dick. But we all know that Kenya took most of the heat because y'all love getting those discount tickets to the Kenya Moore hate train. So I did not overreact when I first saw this tweet. But last night, I was scrolling through these YouTube streets like I normally do, watching the icing artists, watching a little bit of Jackie Ina, a little bit of Teen War, Rich Lux, and I definitely stumbled upon an interesting video from House of Aaron, basically leaving me shook because he made a pretty strong case. I'm gonna skip the small talk and the pleasantries because at this current moment, I am very upset. I have reason to believe everybody's real favorite on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Miss Portia, 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 might be considering quitting the show. Okay? I know. How, how, but how does that work? How does that work? Yes, Erin submitted this post into evidence from Portia Williams where she looks remarkably stunning, but she left fans feeling some type of way when she captioned the post saying, deuces. Yeah, her fans were definitely shook in the comment section saying, girl, are you leaving the Roa? Before another fan chimed in saying, um, what that mean, question mark? Now, don't be leaving no shows with the side eye emoji, LOL before Elijah responded saying, wait, because she did take Roa out of her bio with the side eye emoji as well. And that post got 18 likes. So other people were definitely feeling the same type of way. Mm. Yes, Erin also shined light on Portia, allegedly removing RHOA from her bio on Instagram. So not only did she say deuces in this photo, but it's looking like she said deuces to hashtag Roa in her bio. She gives us all the life we need every Sunday night on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and it's nowhere to be found in her bio. <laughs> And 
after my own research, I still see that there is currently no mention of Real Housewives of Atlanta in her bio at all, but I can't confirm whether or not it was ever there in the first place. But I will say that this is a common trend that we tend to see when the girls are either fired or when they choose to take a step away from the show. So what's really going on? Okay, so here are my thoughts on this situation. First of all, I have been worried about Portia's position on the show for quite some time now. And I know that might be shocking to you guys because obviously Portia has the center peach and we really love her, but I feel like we haven't seen much of a storyline from her in the way that I'm used to seeing. I mean, she had a whole spinoff about her situation with Dennis for crying out loud. And this bolo mess, I feel like it has overshadowed her social justice work. So what was this social media post about? All I know is I did do a deep dive over her post from the last few weeks and I see that starting earlier in February, Portia started dropping gems in her hashtags captioning this post on February 24th saying, A strong woman is one who feels deeply and loves fiercely. And she went on to say some more things, but I want to draw attention to the hashtags. She used hashtag multifaceted, hashtag we can have it all, hashtag pursuit of Portia, hashtag we can do all things, hashtag queen stuff, hashtag affirmations, hashtag new project coming soon. And I was really excited about her using the Pursuit of Portia hashtag. And I liked the new project that she seemed to be teasing. She also used this hashtag a few more times, but honestly, I can't really find any hard evidence of Portia being a disgruntled employee other than what we have already discussed. So I personally feel like it's just possible that Portia is doing what we all do and she has been sending a message to Dennis this whole time. I still love Dennis and Dennis still loves me. I know, right? Plot twist. <laughs> I really just came to this conclusion after watching this clip from a new episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta that's coming on Sunday night. Dennis, you're the one who told the world you're single as you don't gotta tell people that when you're moving like you're saying this you don't gotta tell the world. Yeah, I have a feeling that those deuces were definitely for Dennis. And these two have really confused me and I feel like we don't know what we're rooting for anymore. I'm not dating. I don't know what you've been doing. Baby. A free man like you, I know you. I'm not dating. But is you Like damn girl, do y'all get back together or should y'all move on? Like we the fans wanna know. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know that I can confirm that Portia is in fact leaving The Real Housewives of Atlanta anytime soon. And I think that it's possible that we overreacted about this post. But wait, February 28th. Oh shoot, that's a Sunday. Wait, Portia posted this on Twitter and this on Instagram the same night? Oh shoot, oh shoot. Wasn't this the same night the episode came out? Making those allegations about her and Bolo? Oh my God, February 28th. Y'all, is Portia leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Girl, what's going on? See, that's the thing about these conspiracies. When you care as much as Aaron and I, it's hard to keep from going down this rabbit hole. So I would just let this go. But I for one hope that Portia was just having a bad day and I hope that she hasn't completely made the decision to chuck the deuces. Let me know what y'all are thinking because I just can't tell. Comment right now and let me know if you think Portia is pulling a Nene Leaks and jumping ship. Y'all, we just go out to wait and see. Now, speaking of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, usually around this time, we would be watching the reunion, but as y'all know, the show has been on a weird schedule after things closed down last year, pushing production back. But I can confirm that the reunion is definitely going to be taped in Atlanta within the next few weeks. And Andy has already confirmed that they have been preparing for the show. And sources close to production have confirmed with me that Portia can 
Kenya, Candy, Drusadora, Cynthia, Bailey, Marlo, Latoya, and Shamia will all be in attendance, but Tanya Sam will most likely be noticeably absent. And I'm happy to confirm that it will not be virtual. Thank God, because ooh, last year's reunion, I only watched the first part because I can't deal with no Zoom reunions. And I don't know about y'all, but I feel like we are way past due on a good old fashioned wig snatching. So my fingers are crossed that this reunion will be one for the books. Comment right now and let me know if you guys are excited about The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 reunion taping and tell me if you think that we should be worried at all about Portia Williams. Yes! I also want to shout out House of Aaron for tipping me off on this tea and y'all definitely got to check out his channel if you're looking for the full scoop. Thank y'all so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really appreciate y'all showing me mad love over the last several weeks as I am knocking out content as fast as I can. And I know I might make it look easy, but it is a lot of work. But for y'all, it's definitely worth it. Sometimes. That means some times. Thanks again for watching this video. I will see y'all on the next one.